good morning. So I dropped something in the group yesterday that said I'm going to be answering a question for each of you. Um, I'm going to do probably a few of these videos today because I've got to do a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you can see those three giant suitcases are all for a photo shoot I have tomorrow and the piece has just arrived here from my LA team. So I am really excited to unpack those but I've got this weird thing where like I have to clean my whole house before I um, like take stuff out of the suitcases and the boxes. I used to do it with my office, but now that I'm working from home again and I'm in the process of revamping the she shed to be my office, it's, it's a lot. So I'm gonna be answering a few of these at a time. So Melissa said, how can you combine style with comfort? Meaning how can I wear stylish shoes and still be comfortable? And that's a question I get a lot. It's a really great question. And I think there's a few factors that come into figuring out where people get the hang up that stylish means uncomfortable. I think for the longest time that stylish footwear was impractical. And I think now we're seeing a lot more trends where people are actually wearing sneakers and shoes are becoming more and more comfortable, <coughs> excuse me, as we evolve. Because it used to be, I mean, think about it in the eighties, there were all the women that wore the heels to work, but wore the sneakers on the street. So now with sneakers being really trendy, I don't recommend wearing running shoes necessarily when it comes to sneakers for your footwear. But I've started breaking out my Converse again and wearing them with blazers and jackets. And the silhouette of them is so slim that it just looks like you're wearing a normal shoe. The other ones that are cool um, are the Adidas Classics, the one with the three stripes on them. The kind of more streamlined Vans are really cool if you want to wear a sneaker and you can wear those with dresses you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with whatever you want the other thing is branch out when it comes to what you think comfortable is going to be some of my most comfortable shoes are actually boots and they're boots with a, a little bit of a heel on them but you actually don't want to have a flat sole all the time it's actually really bad for your back so I started you know wearing a lot of ankle boots it's snowing today and I have to go get more pieces. So I'm going to be wearing a pair of my ankle boots. They're Chelsea boots and they are made of rubber and they're so comfortable and they're waterproof. And I wore them all over New York. I wore them anywhere I have to walk. I wear those boots and it might look high maintenance and silly, but these leopard print boots are actually more comfortable on the flip side of things. When it comes to comfort, comfortability, um, I also want to talk about jackets and I want to talk about tops. A lot of people think that it's going to be stuffy and it's, um, you know, like anything that's not a hoodie is going to be uptight. If you want to look polished and put together, throw a jacket on top of anything. So a denim jacket, a leather jacket, a duster, a kimono, any of those things are going to be extremely comfortable and are also going to look like you're put together and stylish. For some reason, the brain thinks that jackets and jewelry mean that you're dressed. So when I leave the house today, one, it's cold, so I'm going to be wearing a jacket, but I'm going to be putting on jewelry. Well, I've got jewelry on right now. And then my outfit today is basically a leopard print coat because it's cold, but I'm still wearing sneakers. And the mixing of the high-low is going to be the quickest way to get people. Um, my damn husband is blowing my phone up. Um, it's the quickest way to be like, oh, she looks cool and fashionable. Um, there's another company called Birdies. Bo's decided to join us. There's another company called Birdies, B-I-R-D-I-E-S, and they do really cute uh, mules and they do really cute slides where they're actually made, like the bottom is quilted like a pillow, so it feels like you're wearing slippers in public, and they're beautiful. They make them in brocade and with tassels, so, and I'm going to order a pair of the slides. I tried to order a pair of the flats and it just didn't work, but um, I'm going to order a pair of the slides to wear on set because I'm basically wearing slippers on set. So I will link those below too, but I want you to branch out when it comes to com like what you think is going to be comfortable. I think that a lot of people just think hoodies and sneakers. And what I had on yesterday is actually a great kind of example. I had on a black t-shirt and on a pair of jeans that had a little bit of stretch in them. So it felt like leggings, but they were real pants. I wore my Chuck Taylors and I wore my velvet motorcycle jacket. So it feels like a cardigan, but it's structured like a jacket. They have those things out there. They make them. Do not get wrapped up in I have to be comfortable and comfortable means not cute. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, drop them below. I got to clean my house so I can get all that. There's some Alexander McQueen in there. I will talk to you guys later.